I got all that gold that's trapped in there. Pieces everywhere. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So glad you can join me. It is Gold Hunter 77 here. I'm back at it, baby. And I'm gonna get back on that river gold. I'm so excited that I'm here. I've been waiting months for the river to drop. So I've been hitting the beach a lot. That's, that's fine and good, but you know how much I like that big gold. Plus there's always a chance to find a small nugget here too. So there's that. I can't wait to get down there, see what we can find, test the green machine. Let's go. All right, I am down here at the spot. That's great, but I got a problem. My rubber boots, I have a hole in one of them and my foot's already soaked. On top of that, the river's a little higher than I thought, so I'm gonna have to go all the way back up to the car, get my shoes, and I'll be doing some wading today to get to that gold. Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> this isn't the time of year for this. Oh man, what a guy won't do for a little bit of gold. I'll tell you, this water is freezing. Straight snow melt. So, might be a shorter trip, but I'm getting to that island and I'm getting that gold. tell you what that's the kind of water that hurts that actually hurts it's so cold I don't want no part of that so I'm gonna be in and out as fast as I can when I'm digging all right made it over to the island why this is so important is gold usually travels in a straight line last year way up there I found like a gram of gold and following this line the gold seems to be good over here and all over there I didn't really find anything you know, so it's just shooting right through here. Now the water is higher than normal, but there is parts of this island that are still exposed that I can dig, set up a sluice box and see what we can get. Okay, we got the green machine set up in the river. This is awesome. First time for the green machine in the river. I got a lot of flow. And with this thing, I don't even think I'm gonna classify. With bigger boxes like this, I feel like it's almost a waste of time. So I'll pick the bigger rocks out, see how it goes. All right, there's our first hole. Um, it's pretty loose, so I don't have a lot of confidence, but we'll see if there's any color. Unclassified, running it through the green machine, baby. First scoop, let's go. Flow's good. I'm just gonna start dumping it in here in a minute. So this first mat is like, it reminds me of an indicator mat. I swear I just seen a flake. I'll tell you, it's amazing how much faster this goes when you don't have to classify. I like this spot better. I'm seeing worms, which is usually a great sign. And check what I pull out. Really nice hunk of petrified wood. It's even got some agatized going on there, so. Uh, normally I would pass it up, but if there's any kind of banding or micro crystalline running through, I'll keep it. That's a nice piece. All right, so I ran two buckets. I don't really see any gold, but you can't really see it in that sluice box. Anyhow, I don't want to take any chances. I found these clumps of grass here. Man, this is real high water. If you watched some of my last videos out over here, is where I got all them plates and these uh, clumps, these roots. So. We'll get this. I know there's got to be some gold in there. We'll process that. We'll definitely get some gold. <laughs> yeah, baby. I knew it. The grass paid off again. Those roots paid off again. When all else fails, go for the roots. Or a lot of times, I'll just go to them to start with. Anyhow, there is gold in the sluice box. It's harder to see in the green machine, but I can see it, so that's great. That means that is like a little indicator map, and it's working awesome. So let's take the rest of that up. Get that gold, baby.
Now I'm also doing two things that a lot of gold miners will tell you that you're not supposed to do. Can you guess what they are? Number one, I am digging underwater. That's right. A lot of gold miners will say, well, your gold will float away. Not if it's the right material. Get in there where you know where there's gold. Second thing, I am digging pretty much uh, soft mud. And a lot of gold miners will tell you, dig only compact material, which is true most of the time. They are forgetting the golden rule though. Gold is where you find it. And right now I'm finding it right here. This is what's working and we're staying on it. Man, I gotta stop and show you something. Check this out. So on both these stickers, there's a little bit of yellow, right? <laughs> Buffalo Chris, right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be wheat. I think it's wheat or something. Man, I thought that was like the biggest picker ever. It wasn't moving. I went to grab it and I was like, oh my God, it's part of your sticker. <laughs> shout out Buffalo Chris. Shout out Jefferson State Gold. And of course, shout out Secret Creek. Shout out AU family, my rock is hiding GS. And oh yeah, Otis is on the other side, guys. Do a sticker trade, you'll end up on the box. I still got room. Look at all them flakes. Oh yeah. Oh, this is shaping up to be a pretty damn good spot. Woo! Damn, I mean, that's already really good. I've just started, that's only two buckets. I really don't know how well that was picking up. I'll try from this side. Yeah, this looks maybe a little bit better. I'm sure you can see what I'm seeing here. <laughs> I've only ran two buckets. I don't know how many flakes are there, but I don't know, 10, 20 more? Amazingly, I'm getting slightly adjusted to this water. I mean, well, maybe I just went numb. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I don't feel the pain anymore. Uh, my feet are just kind of tingling, so we'll see. But here's the deal on this. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the business right there, partner. Get some of that stuff right there. You know, there's gold all through that. Hell, there might even be a picker in there somewhere. All right, what I'm gonna do, since I brought my gold pans, May as well use it. I'm gonna test this material from over there, that big old clump of roots, um, just to make sure it's worth running, because if it is, yeah, and I'm gonna spend a lot of time there. So let's go ahead and test pan this out, see what the deal is. Okay, I grabbed one giant handful of that material. So I better see a flake or two more. I'm not going back there. All right, what did we get for that handful? We got one, two, three flakes, or two and a micro. You know, for a handful, I'll take it because a bucket full is gonna have at least 20. Oh uh, yeah, man, this is the life. What a beautiful day it is. Everything just came together perfectly. I haven't been up here in so long. The sluice box, the green machine is looking awesome, man. It's so golden. I just love this. It's it's like it's something magical about finding gold, being outdoors on the river, and really enjoying life. You know, there was a day when I hated life. I used to drink so much alcohol and just feel sick every day, you know, and I don't have to live like that today. I can be sober today, enjoy my life every single day, and that's one hell of a life to live, let me tell you. Oh baby, this cheater mat is just lit up. Look at all those flakes, man. All through there. Gold, 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 gold. <laughs> man, I think it really washed down some more flood gold. And I'll tell you something else, man. This green machine is just chewing through this pay dirt. I've ran so many buckets, I lost count. Oh 
All right, we're gonna wrap it up, but I can tell you, I think we did pretty damn good. This loose box is awesome. There's just one major drawback to it, and that it's really hard to clean out. You know, it doesn't fit in a bucket, even if it did. You can't clean those grooves out. You know, you need like a garden hose and a tub, so I gotta get this back home. So as I was saying, I need to get this sucker back home up a steep trail. Well, how do I do that with, without the gold falling out, right? Man, I am a genius. <laughs> I think it's gonna work. Yes, I'm gonna saran wrap it long ways a couple times, trap that pay dirt, baby, till we can get it home. Yeah, yeah, baby. Look at that. I can't even believe how well that saran wrap worked. That is awesome, like the perfect width. No gold's getting out. It's trapped in there because this, this hike up this trail is pretty damn steep and I could even drop this thing. So that is awesome. I just found the solution, man. Well, I had a great time here, man. Like I said, it was just magical, fun, was on really good gold. But it's time to go. When the back starts hurting and I'm freezing wet and muddy, I think I ran about 10 half buckets. I had a really good time. So we'll get this back to the house and pan it out. All right, made it up the trail. And I'll tell you, I am so glad I had that saran wrap. I got all that gold that's trapped in there. Pieces everywhere. Surely some of that would have fell out because this thing got knocked around quite a bit on the way up. Right. We got the golden package safely back to the house. Nice and clean, except for a few small little rocks I'm going to have to pick out. Works perfect every time. All right, we are back at the house and we have the gold right here in this pan. We just need to pan it down and see what we got. All right, time for the big reveal here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, well over a hundred flakes. Good size flakes, man, probably closer to 200. Well, I won't count the micro, but as far as medium, medium to big flakes, we're well over a hundred. Nice. Damn, we did good in those roots, man. I love that spot. I love going up the river and just killing the gold. All right, let's weigh it up and see what we got here. You know, once you get it out of the pan, it just like it shrinks. So <laughs> now I'm like, is that even a quarter gram? But with high water, you know, still really good. So let's let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh baby, quarter gram on the money. Well, it's gonna, yeah, now it wants to go down, come on. That's a quarter gram, so, hey, that's good. That's, that's real good. That, that gas money and lunch money right there. All right, we've come to the end of this episode. I hope you had fun, man. I had a blast going up the river. I haven't been up there in like three months. And to get over a hundred flakes with high water, Hell yeah, that was awesome. So thanks again for watching, hanging out with me, subscribing, liking, commenting. Love you guys. Until next time.